Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Of course, this is Mwalimba Fachi. If this is your first time to be on my YouTube channel, kindly make it a point to hit the subscribe button down here so that you're not missing out any other videos whenever I upload. Guess what today? How to make 200,000 shilling per day as profit. How to make 200,000 shilling profit in a single day. Meaning that's about, in fact, that is 6 million in 30 days. Okay, how to make 200,000 shilling in a single day from a retailing forward business. Okay, now this is what we're going to share today on how you're going to make that money. That is 6 million in a single month from a retailing forward business. Now, I've shared with you pre uh, in previous videos on how to make money from food business, groceries. And uh, one of them I talked about how to make 100,000 uh, shilling in a single day. As profit, it is possible. But now in this very video, I will share with you the very tips on how you can make 200,000 shilling in a single day from a retailing food business. It is possible, my dear. This is what you need to do. First and foremost, you need the capital. Invest in this business. When you invest in this very business, it is easier for you because all that you need, you need the following items. And these are the items I'm going to share with you. You see, the challenge we have is that some people want to make money, but they, they do not want you know, to put in their effort. For example, uh, want to make money, but he or she is still joking with this very business. I'm going to share with you a list of um, these items and um, all of them are here, okay, are here and um, it is a list of them, okay. You can see, sorry, all of them are here. I'm going to, sh uh, to share with you and you see uh, how you need to deal with these items to make money. For example, in your store, the moment you have the following commodities, number one, that is rice. But remember, rice has got different varieties. And different varieties, I mean, super, kaiso, then Pakistan, basma. But number one, let's talk about super rice, which has, um, which has grade one, which has one one, which has medium rice, of course, which has grade three, all these are the types. Then let's talk about number two item or commodity that is kaiso. All these are the items that you need in your store to make sure that you make that 200,000 uh, shilling per day. When you don't have these ones, you cannot because these are the commodities that are highly demanded by the people, by the, you know, the, the, the um, people you're selling to. Now, the third item is... Um, Pakistan rice, then we have um, basmat as the fourth item, we have sugar, we have beans, but beans has got different varieties, we have nambale, we have yellow beans, we have red beans, we have green beans, we have kawula beans among other. there are very many, all these beans you need them, you need them in place so that you satisfy the customer's choices and preferences okay then number eight we have uh, in a food business you need cooking oil people will have to buy rice buy whatever they will buy and um, they will need to go fry do you know all sorts of spicing and they will need cooking oil but cooking oil has got also flavors and different types talk of fortune talk of struggle among others you all need all these ones then we have number nine item that is wheat fry common known as ngano we have many here in uganda talk of pembe azam supreme we have farina among others then the tenth commodity here i that will enhance your earning to push to make it to 200,000 profit per day, we have cassava. This is highly demanded by most Congolese. They eat it, they like it as their ugari, they like it so much. Then we have 11th as um, G-nuts, the, 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 the most demanded sauce here.
here they are the genus then we have uh, porridges talk of porridge uh, rice porridge talk of millet fry then talk of soya porridge among others now why did i share with you all these items i should i shared with you these items to let you know that the moment you have all these in your store that is your stock now this is how you're going to make money to make sure that you hit that 200,000 profit per day one for example when you feature these techniques i shared within my previous videos where you're focusing at less margin for example in this video let's talk about uh, this margin of 200 per each commodity for example i start with super rice in the area for example where we sell from super rice and kaiso highly demanded now this is what we do you will set a 200 profit as a margin okay 200 shilling profit that is profit margin you need from each kilo and then it means you're over competing these other people who are selling aiming at 500 profit margin i don't know whether you're getting my point and now it means you're now pulling you're pulling your customer info and in so doing you're increasing the the, the number of kilograms you're, you're scooping per day for example if in the beginning you have been scooping about um, 10 to 20 kilogram this time the moment you focus on this less margin of which other people are not willing to work for then you will have to increase from 20 kilograms or 10 kilograms that you initially scooped and now you push it to 50 or you push it to 100 for example it is possible that in a single day you can sell 100 kilograms of super rice that is type 1 1 100 kilograms of super rice medium 100 kilograms of grade one even super kaiso you can sell them this is where you find that you have a lot of customers your shop it is like a market people come in flocking all the time because they are looking for the cheaper prices they're looking for cheaper prices okay now when you focus on this remember we have those different varieties on your shop about um about four of super rice and in each we are selling about 100 kilograms per day now when you get four of them times uh times because each each uh, each item or each commodity you're selling 100 kilograms it means on 100 kilograms you have about 20,000 now 20,000 times four those are the four varieties that is 80,000 from one item that is super rice I don't know whether they're getting my point. Now, when you go to Kaiso, you're doing the same. You're selling 100 kilograms, even more than that. But remember, you're focusing on 200, meaning from Kaiso, you're making 20,000 profit from that commodity. Remember, we had 80. Now, plus this 20,000 from Kaiso, you're making it 100,000. Now, you already have 100,000, meaning you're less by 100,000 to, to hit the target of 200,000. Now, we have another commodity that is highly demanded guess what it is it is maize fra posho this posho because in most cases we normally make money i'm sorry to say from the low income earners these are the people who will demand for you who will buy from you don't expect this push executive class to come and buy from you they rarely do because they mostly buy what they want from the supermarkets, you know, along where they work from. Now, this uh, uh, linear settlement of uh, small income earners, they will always demand for posho. Now, guess what? Posho, if you have good quality and you're selling it cheaply, you can even sell three bags and each bag contains 50 kilograms. Now, these are 150 kilograms per day. Remember, you're aiming at 200, uh, 200 profit margin. It means from posho, you're making about 30,000 per day. When you add 30,000 from 100,000 you had made from the previous items, you're making it 130. Okay? Now, we have other items like sugar. Sugar, it has, you know general demand wherever you are whether you have started today your shop whatever sugar will always be demanded it will always move they will always buy okay so you can also make about ten thousand from that sugar for example you have sold the whole bag in a single day these 
um, things I'm telling you, they all happen. I have been there before, I know what it means. Why do I say this? In a single day, you can sell even two bags of sugar. It is possible, you know. Yeah, most of you, to know most other techniques that you need to hit this, uh, you can leave the comment under the comment section in here so that we can even discuss off uh, this video so that we can see how you can hit your target, okay? Talk of beans. Then you have different variety. You have nambari, you have yellow beans, then you have red beans, then you have uh, you have uh, kaura beans, you have uh, all other varieties of beans. All these ones have their profit margin. Now, if you sell them still like you're selling 25, about 15 kilograms gram, of, of yellow, then you are, you're selling thick of, of nambari, you're selling about uh, 30 of red beans, then you're almost hitting the target that you want. We have other items, for example, like genus. For them, they have always commonly known to be having higher profit margin. Genus, you can even sell them when you're, you're getting a profit of 500 to 1,000, meaning the moment you sell about 20 kilograms, that's a bucket. This is a bucket of 20 kilograms. You sell it in one day, then you have about um, 20,000 per day of 15, to 10,000. So, when you sell all this one, then we have Ngano. Ngano has got less profit, but they move. We have these people who make mandazi, make chapatis, then they make samosas, they make many other things. They always demand for Ngano. They always demand for this, you know, quit. Then we talk of cooking oil, they will always demand for that. Now, when you sum up all these ones, talk of cassava, then we have people who will come and buy in barricade, but we are not considering them. Because I remember I said, I'm focusing on retail. That's why I said how to make 200,000 profit per day from a retailing food business. Meaning, the moment we do wholesale, that will be categorized under wholesale. This time, I want this person who comes by in retail okay now then we have porridge we have cassava among others that's how you're going to hit two hundred thousand profit per day if you don't believe that this is possible please come check on us visit us pairs visits so that we can discuss you can physically see how we make this happen and even we and even more than that okay all that i pray for you is that this very uh, this coming year, I pray that to you who has not started your own business, please, I pray for you to start your own business. This coming year, let it be a year of wonders. Let you start your own very business so that you become self-employed. Okay? Otherwise, uh, I want to thank you. Thank you for supporting this channel to grow. Thank you for following us. Thank you for sharing our videos. Uh, thank you for watching our videos in case you're new to this very channel kindly make it a point with the subscribe button down here so that you're not missing out any other video uh, whenever i upload stay blessed malimba fachi